the museum. I saw a bunch of really old fossils. Wow, and they let you bring one home. <laughs> you know, Tina knew so much about the dinosaurs and the mummies. It really surprised me how smart she is, given this. <laughs> Twelve miners pulled from shaft. Pulled from shaft. <laughs> Yeah, we know Tina's smart. She's doing great in school. Well, have you had her tested to see if she should be in one of those accelerated programs? Oh, I don't know, Linda. I don't want to put that much pressure on my kids. That's why we said no when that fancy private school tried to recruit Brian. Wait, what? <laughs> well, Judy, I was a gifted child and nobody ever encouraged me. Tina deserves better. A private school tried to recruit me? Relax, Brian. We also didn't let your sister audition for the Fine Arts Academy and they practically begged us. What? <laughs> Parking down there was crazy. <laughs> It's nice to have a romantic date night every now and then. And it's nice for me that you think eating tacos in a parking lot is romantic. <laughs> what can I say? It takes me back to my wedding night. <laughs> well, what is going on downstairs? I'm sorry, parking lot tacos were a mistake. <laughs> well, I mean in the basement. I'll go check it out. Stupid mop. Hi. Hi. Hey, Dad. You're back early. Yeah, your mom wants you to keep it down. What are you kids up to down here? Oh, uh, we're playing Dark Lord. It's a board game based on the social hierarchy of feudal society. <laughs> so it's not just a board game. It's a bored out of your mind game. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, oh, nothing. Brian and Lauren's friends are down there. I told a joke and cracked them up. <laughs> really? That's odd. Why? Normal girls don't like Brian's friends, and no kids like your jokes. <laughs> What's this doing back up? I just knocked it down. Don't you see? Since we won't give them a key to the lock, they've set up a parent alarm. We knock it over. They know we're coming. They have time to hide whatever's going on. How stupid do they think we are? Hi again. Hi. Uh, what are you guys doing back down here? Well, your father said you were having so much fun down here, I thought I'd check it out for myself. <laughs> Yeah, I hope I didn't interrupt you when I kicked the bucket. <laughs> okay, that is not funny at all. What is going on down here? Nothing, okay? Me and my girlfriends were upstairs and we heard Brian and his friends having so much fun that we decided to join them. I mean, what's so weird about that? The girls are having fun with Brian and his friends. <laughs> no offense. A lot taken. Why do you guys always have to assume that we're doing something wrong, okay? We're not getting into trouble. Can you give us some credit, please? Jeez. Well, maybe you're right. Sorry we bothered you. What's in the jackets? Test tubes. We were conducting an experiment. Oh, to see how stupid your parents are? <laughs> we can explain, all right? Mm -hmm. um, the only reason that those were there is because... We were gonna play spin the bottle. Oh! Then go ahead, play spin the bottle. Anyone got a mint? <laughs> okay, we were having a beer party. You two are grounded for two months. 
No stereo, no TV, no phone. And you can forget it. No internet, no car, no money for clothes. Hey, hey, hey. I want to take stuff away, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. And you're not allowed to have... laughter. You can't take away laughter. Trust me, he can. I didn't know my friends were bringing alcohol. Yeah, and we didn't drink anything. Only because we came home early. And it's a good thing we did. You, you had warm beer, cheap vodka, and wine coolers. What do you think? <laughs> Everybody knows it's liquor before beer, never fear. Beer before liquor, never sicker. <laughs> of course, whiskey is risky, but it makes the ladies frisky. Bill, we're trying to teach them not to drink, not how to drink. You're right, that was dumb. Like mixing wine and rum. Go think about that. Hello, Judy. Kathy, Ted. Matthew Luke Halverson, you are in a boatload of trouble, mister. A boatload. <laughs> and this summer, you can forget all about marionette camp. Mm -hmm. Man. That's right. I don't think the other puppeteers want to share a booth with a booze hound. <laughs> now, you go wait out in the car, Tommy Lee. <laughs> Thanks for calling. This is awful. Well, what are you going to do? The kids are in an age where they're going to experiment. I blame myself. I'm afraid there's been times where Matt has seen me enjoy up to two beers in one sitting. At Christmas time, I do enjoy my warm wassail. I'm not sure what that has to do with drinking, but okay. <laughs> Look. It's time we all take responsibility for this. We need to set a better example. Absolutely. We need to be better role models. I couldn't agree more. We need to stop drinking. You need to go now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not talking about forever. I'm just saying we need to show our kids that we could have fun without alcohol. Well, I guess a few days couldn't hurt. I, I was thinking more like a month. Okay, you really need to go now. <laughs> There's my girl. I thought about you all the way home. Aww. What? Oh, hey. <laughs> You're gonna get a kick out of this. I just got an email from the Halversons. They actually got the other parents to agree to that no drinking thing. Stupid Halversons, acting like they're heroes for not drinking. <laughs> Yeah, we could stop drinking if we wanted to. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Um, you not drinking? What's so funny about that? We could stop drinking for a month. <laughs> a month? You gotta be kidding me. What's so funny? Um, I have a joke for you. Mom and Dad stop drinking for a month. The end. <laughs> hey, 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 you know I took away laughter. Be gone. <laughs> Leave those two. We could stop drinking for a month. We're not the kind of people who need to drink to be happy. Yeah, we are happy. We just drink to be happier. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, kids are giving us a hard time for some reason. They don't think we could stop drinking for a month. I wonder what would give them that impression. <laughs> the fact that Brian's middle name is Hops? Or that Lauren's middle name is Barley? <laughs> I'm not saying you guys drink too much, but you do tend to drink in front of your children. Bill, maybe we have been setting a bad example. Is that how our children think of us? Judy, I can quit any time I want. And I'm talking about letting that one into our house. <laughs> Kids, come in here, please. We've got to do this. Your father and I have been talking it over, and we've decided to join the other parents and be good role models. That's really not necessary. Yeah, we gave up on you guys years ago. <laughs> we each picked our own new role models. You see, mine is the manager at the clinic counter, and Brian's is the librarian from school. <laughs> Evelyn is firm, but fair. <laughs> well, we're doing it anyway. From now on, there's not going to be a single drop of booze in this house for the next month. Right, Bill? Right. Yeah, now pour it out of the glasses in the sink. <laughs> now pour 
out of the cereal bowl. <laughs> yeah, now unstop the sink. Oh, really? <laughs> Hey, buddy. My new shipment of the international beers are in. Ready to go around the world in 80 burps? <laughs> Fitz, I told you there's no drinking in the house. Mom! So you guys are really serious about this no drinking thing, huh? Yeah, these past three weeks have been easier than I thought. I have more energy, I've saved money, I've even gone down a whole belt notch. <laughs> You're back to the regular holes, not the ones you made with the barbecue for. <laughs> Rough day. Yeah, I need a little something to take the edge off. Thank God I got my needle point. Ah, that hits the spot. Hey, I'm dropping Lauren off at dance practice. You're not supposed to have beer in the house. Oh, that's my fault, Brian. I brought him in. Your parents haven't touched a drop. Well, you know, I've got to hand it to you guys. I didn't think you could do it, but uh, you've really proved us wrong. Yeah, we're really proud of you. <laughs> wow. It felt weird coming out. Hey, since you're out of drinking shape, you better pace yourself at your Super Bowl party on Sunday. <laughs> you're no drinking things over by then, right? Yeah, it ends this Saturday. Um, actually, it'll be a month on Monday. That'll be 30 days. C can a month be 28 days? <laughs> a month can. This month can't. Yeah, but it's almost over. We're just a few days shy. It's a gimme, right? Sure, whatever. We didn't think you could do it anyway. There goes that feeling of pride. Yvonne at the Clinique counter said this was going to happen. <laughs> Bill, we need to stick this out. Otherwise, we're going to teach our children that it's impossible to have fun in this house without alcohol. No, no, we're not. We're teaching them it's impossible to enjoy other people without alcohol. <laughs> uh, present company excluded. Well, no, I get it. I'm quite miserable right now myself. <laughs> Especially the thought of a dry Super Bowl party. Oh, come on, it'll be fine. I'll still make my Super Bowl chili and Bill will still do his famous halftime dance. I do a dance? <laughs> Every year? Yeah, right after the jello shots and before the tequila. What do I do after the tequila? <laughs> we made a pact that we would never talk about. <laughs> So what can I do you for? Uh, mock gin and tonic, Virgin Mary, name your poison. Rat. And make a double for yourself. Oh, Bill. You're mean sober. <laughs> Look, Dad, I know you didn't want to have a dry Super Bowl party, but it is really cool that you're actually seeing this through. Maybe next month you can give up stupid. <laughs> well, my chili sucks. Because I couldn't use my secret ingredient, beer. You put beer in the chili? No. People drink beer and then they don't notice that my chili sucks. <laughs> Where the hell's my needle point? <laughs> hey, thanks again for throwing this alcohol-free party. I, for one, am high on being dry. <laughs> I would like to be drunk. <laughs> I know it doesn't rhyme, but it's just the way I feel right now. <laughs> oh, to reward everybody, Ted and I made gifts for all the parents. <laughs> the Sober Bowl. Get it? <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the chili. <laughs> wow, Bill. Hey, hey, guys, thanks for coming. Oh, man, we wouldn't miss Bill's big Super Bowl bash. <laughs> Where's the keg? Oh, didn't Fitz tell you there is no keg? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, dog, where's the keg? <laughs> That's right, amigos. Bill's hosting a dry party to set a good example for the kids. Oh, hey, that's cool, Bill. Let's roll. Yeah. Oh, what? Come on. <laughs> You're already here. Yeah, yeah, we got T-shirts, we got uh, Arnold Palmer's. Ted, Ted, you're not helping. Okay. <laughs> just give it a shot. Come on, the game's already started. All right. I'll stay just to see you do your halftime dance. <laughs> Man, I wait all year for that. <laughs> what is this dance I do? Come on, Dick, I'm just gonna get some pop. Hi, Fitz, what are you doing? Fitz, I told you no beer in the house. Well, technically, I'm under the house. <laughs> Not Judy, it's one beer. Fine. One beer. But don't tell anyone else. Got you. Just one more beer. <laughs> hey, Judy, you need some help with those... Hey, you got beer. Hey, come back. You can't come down here, too. Oh, Judy, I thought you were cool. I am cool. <sighs> okay, fine. 
but after this one, you both come back upstairs. Hey, you want to pull for the road? No, I can't. Nah, take a pull. Really, I can't. Oh, take a pull. Judy, take a pull. <laughs> no, I promised my kids that I wouldn't. I'm Judy. My kids had a beer party, so now I can't drink. They the boss of me. I gotta do whatever they... <laughs> can't believe I broke my promise to my kids. Hey, I'm sorry, Judy. We shouldn't have asked you to do... Hang on, hang on. <laughs> <sighs> Beats the crap out of Needlepoint. <laughs> What are the sodas? Oh, I forgot. I'll go back down in a minute. You know, Judy, I couldn't have made it through this party without you. You're my rock. You filthy lion drunk. You had beer. Something, something light and crisp. A lager. Okay, your buddies have beer in the basement. And I didn't want to drink, but they told me I wasn't cool, so I had to. Going down there to give him a piece of my mind. I'd like to see him try and get me to drink. Oh, almost forgot my mug. What's the mug for? Chili. My chili mug. See, it's, it's chili. One beer. Do you people hear me? One beer. Keep your voices down. Don't worry, Judy. I got this whole thing under control. Incoming! Maybe you all should think about what you're doing here. What if the kids found out? Who's gonna tell them? You gonna tell them? <coughs> Narc! <laughs> I, I am not a narc! Would a narc do this? <laughs> Where'd all the other parents go? Maybe they went out to get some decent chili. <laughs> this we made a promise to our children yes. you're going back on it <laughs> this type of behavior is exactly <laughs> the other way hey, here you go bud. thank you hey that's beer i didn't want to drink hmm where's this from oh it's norwegian <laughs> son of a bitch that's good <laughs> i didn't want to drink it but the cigar smoke was <laughs> there it is again <laughs> Um, where'd all the parents go? I think the real question is, who cares? <laughs> oh, wow, what a pass! Touchdown! <laughs> Did that come from the basement? That's locked. Locked? It's weird, this door's never locked. Hello? Be right there. What's up? Hi, uh, why are you guys downstairs? We're just watching the game down in the cellar, like they did in the olden days. Well, can we come in? Sure. Come on down, kids. We got nothing to hide. Nothing at all to hide. Hi! <laughs> Look, everybody. It's our children. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's a mouse. See? Nothing going on down here. Just a bunch of born adults. So why aren't you guys upstairs watching the game on the big TV? Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, my God. Is that a beer bottle? Look, I know we said this party was going to be alcohol-free, as this house has been for the last month, but... Your mother came down here to get some more soda, and she found some beer. Oh, my God. All right, I'm sorry. They were just left over from the last party. <laughs> what? Were you thinking? <laughs> Look, we weren't going to drink them, okay? We, we were only saving them until we were 21. <laughs> and, and 
we, and we feel just awful, especially since you guys have worked so hard not to drink all month. Yes, we did, and we are very disappointed. Very. I'm so disappointed, I might throw up. <laughs> okay, you kids, go on upstairs. The adults have some things we need to discuss. Well, I think we just learned something very important from those kids. Yes. There's more beer down here. Fan out. <laughs> okay, Brian, I know you learned a lot from this whole experience, but uh, I just want to go through it one more time. Do we have to? Yes, it's very important. It's something a son should learn from his father, and, you know, maybe one day you'll pass it on to your son. Fine. Okay, more elbows, more elbows. Okay, come on, don't be afraid to bounce. It's a, it's a Super Bowl, not a funeral. That's it now, big finish. 